acts up from there. Yeah, it does. It sure does. <laughs> Your hair don't be right. It just, mm -mm. just don't be. No. Just, yeah. Well, no right. Franco is still at work, so. Okay, well, that's me. Just, just. Okay. Well, here we are. It's you and I. Amen. Jessica. <laughs> so just want to make sure uh, we, are, we are live on Facebook, and I'm glad. I'm glad about it. All right, let me get this together. All right, here we go. Hey, Jessica. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh -huh. Good. Good. Hello, Denise. Hi. <laughs> I'm so happy. So happy y'all joined us tonight. All right, what I'm going to do is, you know, like I like to do, I'm just going to share my screen because I, I did try to provide y'all with the questions in advance so that y'all could be prepared for this here Bible study because I was enjoying it myself. I'm just want you know, I was enjoying it. I was enjoying it because I was learning some new stuff because, you know, they always just say you can't. Anyway, but, you know, I learned some new stuff. That's all. <laughs> but let us pray. Um, let us, uh, we're just going to talk over the questions because if you break out um, Luke 2, we're going to go from verses 1 to 20. If you would break those things out, we're just going to talk about peace. Um, second week of Advent, you know, the first week is hope. The second is peace. Um, so we want to talk about peace in the context of these verses here. Uh, that's going to be our purpose. Okay, now, Sound good? Sounds good. Right. Good, sounds good. All right. Let us pray. Uh, Father God, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, we do come before your presence this evening, we thank you for this opportunity to have this discussion about your word that is living and breathing and active and it, it encourages us, it corrects us, it instructs us. We pray, Lord God, as we study this word that we would learn more about you uh, and in turn learn, learn more about our relationship with you so that tomorrow we can be better than we are today should you allow us to see the next day we thank you god and we bless you uh, we ask blessings upon your people uh, blessings upon us as we share uh, be magnified upon in in our midst among us lord god and we thank you for this platform pt our ministries god that you planted in your heart and you allowed us to bring it to life we're grateful to you in jesus name we do pray amen amen Amen. All right. So uh, I, I, um, I always like to start off. So now we know what we're talking about peace. It's the context of peace. Now y'all familiar with this, this, uh, this, this, this passage of scripture. It is about the birth of Jesus as told by Dr. Luke. Right. All right. So, so, so what is, uh, what is your definition of peace? Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> Mine is uh, when I got a calmness mm -hmm. around me. Okay. And, and, and when my soul is not warring with something. Okay. You know. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Calmness. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I was going to kind of similar word, but I was going to say tranquil. Tranquil. Yeah. yeah 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 so we often think of peace as the absence of strife right the uh or the calmness the tranquility uh we often use it as the uh, contrast to war right war and peace right and oftentimes when we hear it in the bible they're talking about a general sense of wholeness and um well-being like uh, not just um like a temporal thing but something that's internal and eternal your mind your heart your 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 soul is a wholeness right and um as we consider like the work of jesus you you can see that that uh, as a wholeness right uh with a you know a wh right like you know that you're together you're 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 comforted um uh, because you have this confidence like we get peace because we have confidence in christ right um we get peace that you know like 
that we know that at some point in time it all is all going to work out. <laughs> we might have to go through some difficult times, but you know, this this confidence allows us to not be um, to be as you both said to be tranquil, right? Um, to be calm, right? Even in the midst of a, the heat of the battle, right? When you have this thing that can center you, um, it keeps your attention on the on the, on the the peacekeeper or the peace giver versus all of the foolishness that is happening around, right? All right. Um, so I like you, you guys are smart and that's why I like hanging out with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so as, as you, um, I'm sure you um, peruse um, these verses or if somebody wants to read them real quick for us. One to 20. Yes, yes. Sure. All right. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria and mm -hmm. everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went, <coughs> excuse me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you, you good? Sorry, yeah. Okay. I got a tickle in the back of my throat. <laughs> tickle. Uh, so Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house in the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed, she wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in the in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord ha has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherd said to them. But Mary treasured all up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. All right. So this is, you know, one of the great Christmas stories, right? Or oh, this generally the scripture that we read when we uh, celebrate the birth of the birth of Jesus. Um, so uh, question three, what is happening in verses one through three? Denise, you're going to love this part. <laughs> what is happening in one through three? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, Caesar has declared mm -hmm. that everybody has mm -hmm. to pay taxes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, to support his army. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, everyone had to go to their own towns. Mm -hmm, and because mm -hmm. Joseph was in the line of David, he had to leave Nazareth to go to Bethlehem. Somebody did some homework. Okay, I see you. I see <laughs> you. I see what you're doing. And it's very interesting. So oftentimes, like, so we when we read the Bible, like, you know, we forget about that. There's a lot of it that's a historical document, mm -hmm. right? You know, uh, there's, a, you know, there's prophecy, there's poetry, but there's also history, right? Mm -hmm. um, so when they talk about this Caesar Augustus, uh, Denise and I yet, uh, years ago used to watch this show called Rome. It was on yep. HBO. Okay. okay. Right. So when they talk about this man, Caesar Augustus, they are talking about um, Julius Caesar's nephew, Octavian. So now you could read about Octavian in the history books, right? Mm -hmm. he, right. And mm -hmm. so um, 
he he named himself like so he wasn't so he 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 was the first person that was actually considered the, the emperor because before then he uh the leaders were considered like rulers he called himself caesar augustus augustus meaning um holy or 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 heavenly right supreme so he mm. changed his name right we don't think about that we think of caesar augustus we oh but that was actually octavian who he he had defeated his he had defeated um mark antony and oh, cleopatra cleopatra right, see this, yeah. right so you see how like this is you know it's real people it's okay. real people right and because now he was the supreme ruler of the Roman Empire, he, he could make a decree, and 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 the, and the, and the, the, the Bible says that the whole world responded to it. Now we know that that is um, hyperbolic because they're not talking about uh, uh, what was then you know what what we consider now North America or South America. They were just talking about whatever the Roman Empire was. And your history will tell you Rome, Rome was widespread. But this one man could make a decree and everybody would respond to it. And that's exactly what happened. He decided, like Denise said, now I need to pay for these wars because it had been centuries and decades. Like, you know, you read about Mark Antony and how he tried to take over him and Cleopatra after uh, Julius Caesar died, right? There was all kinds of strife in Rome and the Roman Empire. They had lived through so much turmoil by the time that Octavian or Caesar Augustus became emperor they entered into a place of peace they entered to a time that where there's no war so okay. you know everybody thought he was the guy mm -hmm. right so he says he makes a decree and they go to their own town and they 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 register for the census so they can get their taxes <laughs> <laughs> and get that get their taxes mm -hmm. all right all right let's go to verses four to five let's what's happening in verses four and five Anybody, you come, y'all, y'all got they it. Come on, they traveling. They well, traveling. Denise hit, Denise hit on it when she answered the the question, the previous yeah. question, because yeah. uh, Joseph went from Nazareth to Bethlehem because he wow. was of David and he took Mary with him. Yeah, who was his espoused. Right, they was engaged. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. So it's interesting when we talk about Galilee. A lot of times we talk about Galilee. You know, the man from Galilee, put your hand in the hand, right? But <laughs> Galilee was like a military outpost, like, you know, like a little Navy town. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> right? So when they talk about him, them traveling from Nazareth, you know, a town in the region of Galilee to Bethlehem, they're talking about an 80-mile trip. Uh, uh, a lot of historians believe that so they weren't married. So he didn't really have to take Mary with him. Mm -hmm. right. right. But, um, you know, uh, jo uh, uh, Joseph B, you remember his story about uh, when he found out that she was pregnant. He's like, I don't sign up for this. Right. But then the Holy Spirit, you know, you know, spoke to him. So, you, you know, there's a could be a lot of reasons um, that he that he took her. Right. That. Um, you know, maybe he was trying to protect her from what would have happened to her if she was left in Nazareth by herself. You know, it began to show, mm -hmm. right? Didn't have no husband. You know, they would have stoned her, right? You know, but so he's traveling with now his, um, um, his espoused wife. And okay, so now I really want you to kind of dig into verses six and seven mm -hmm. and tell me what you see. And then tell me what you don't see. What, when we look at verses six and seven, what do we see? You see where they are? Yeah. And where they couldn't be? <laughs> okay, okay. The fact that, you know, they're not in the room because there's so many people in the town. They're, maybe they got there late. I don't know. Um, <laughs> But there was there was there was no place inside for them to be, so they had to find a place, some place that you know would at least keep them warm through the night. 
Oh, that's, that's interesting. I want because I want because we're gonna read it again. I just want to put you put you, put a thumb right there, Denise. I'm, this um, is great. And then you also see her giving the, you know giving birth. There's no midwife. Mm -hmm. There's no, mm -hmm. no doctors. Mm -hmm. um, and then you also see um, the baby that's born. That's the Messiah. Is mm -hmm. not born. He's not born kingly. Right. Born exactly. You know, he's not born, born king. with, uh, kingly. You know, he ain't have a crown and all that. He got right. strips of cloth covering him, and he's in the pig or horse trough. Okay. Okay. You know, okay. Uh, on 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 hay. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, very good. So, uh, I didn't uh, until I started doing some digging on this. Like, I never really thought about how the images of media uh, and the the romanticized narrative of this process ha absolutely influenced the way that I read this, mm. right? Right? Uh, because, you know, we always see the movies, right? So if, if we, when we, it says, it's so the NIV says, while they were there, right? So the implication was, we don't know, we don't, it's untold, it's untold at what point in time after Mary became pregnant, um, that they left um, Nazareth and made it to Bethlehem. We know it was an 80 mile journey. So they had to, they had to get there somehow. They mm -hmm. didn't have means. They didn't have, um, they didn't have, they didn't have a vehicle. <laughs> they didn't right. have a horse or a donkey. Right. So they, you know, the implication is that they made it there on foot. And, and I didn't think about it until I read it today. Again, rereading it, just trying to read it with an open mind. I, I, I'm going to say that they, so when it says in verse five, you know, he came with Mary who, who was pledged to marry him and was expecting a child. But then verse six, like there's a chunk of time. It says, while they were there, it didn't like, it's like, I always think, I always thought about that process of they arrived that night. <laughs> she's oh, great yeah. with child you yeah. know what I mean but that 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 part might that might be inference again mm -hmm. they 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 were there they were there for some time while right. they were there right then the time of the baby came to be born and she gave her birth to her firstborn son and just like Denise and just like you said they were you know I don't know whether when they got there, they had some place to stay. And then as the baby came, now you did, you know, now you're three, <laughs> right? And we don't have space for you, whatever the case may be, but they were, you know, in a, in a, you know, they were, uh, there was nothing, there was nothing beautiful about it, mm -hmm. right? You, uh, um, you're thinking, well, this is the birth of God's son. Y'all couldn't get somebody to come help her. <laughs> you know, you couldn't get somebody to come help Mary. Um, I don't think that the, I, I, um, the strips of cloth, I don't think so much about that anymore because when you, you know, we think about how we wrap a baby up, it's not in the biggest piece of cloth, right? right? You know, but oftentimes because I, I hear it the way that I, I'm reading it, I'm thinking about, you know, rags that are torn. Yeah. And mm -hmm. perhaps it was actually a piece of swaddling big enough to wrap a baby in, you know? Um, you know what I mean? So rather, because I, because it's me thinking. Now I'm not saying it's not mm -hmm. it, but I'm just saying. Well, you know, maybe it was just because it, it wasn't anything beautiful, as Denise said. It we all, you know, they, they didn't have a handmade blanket. <laughs> you know, you know, they didn't get something that was knitted together with the name Jesus. You know, written in right. it. You know, um, I, what we don't see is we don't see the donkey. You know, that's often in the Christmas story. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, you don't see all of that. It, it, it was it was a lonely, dark time, right? Uh, uh, d dark, not necessarily. It could have been daylight. I don't know. But it was a time when they were by themselves. They were outside um, of everything and they didn't have the resources um, that, you know, you would think in this momentous occasion, the birth of the Savior, you know, you know, God, why aren't you sending these angels? <laughs> You know, why aren't you, you know, why aren't you doing something miraculous? And I think that's the whole point that for, for me, at least I'm seeing it now that when God, as God sent Jesus, he sent him to be completely human, right? So 
Like he didn't come down. He didn't, he didn't fly down as an angel. He wasn't delivered by a stork. You know what I mean? It, mm-hmm. <laughs> it wasn't anything, ah, you know what I mean? It was a, it was a natural um, uh, experience uh, that these people experienced by themselves. Okay, so now very good. You guys, I told you guys were smart. Okay, quick, so <laughs> what'd you say? I had a quick thought. Yeah, come could on. it be that they could it be that they didn't get a room because she was pregnant? And not so come much on. because there is no room. That's Think like about the that. That's that excellent. They use. Could be. Come on. Because remember, now these are these are these are are, are Roman subjects, but they're still Jewish people who had mm-hmm. this very strict law. They didn't live their lives like the Romans. Romans had lived any old kind of way, right? Yeah. Uh, they didn't live like their 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 lives like other uh, Roman um, citizens. He was not. They were not fully married. Mm-hmm. They were engaged. And is there was there a way to distinguish people who were married? Because if that was the case and they could distinguish, okay, these two aren't married yet he's with her and she's pregnant. I don't, maybe they told him the truth. I don't, I can't see why they would lie, right? Right. They said, this is my espoused wife, right? Or this is whatever the term was, because, you know, we know that the, the engagement contract was considered a marriage contract, but she didn't have all the benefits of being married. That's right. an excellent point, Jessica. You know, I never thought about that. Maybe because of her condition right? Mm-hmm. Maybe there was no room for them because no one wanted to say, oh, now you're going <laughs> to, you're going to bring your baby mama to my house. You know what I'm right. saying? <laughs> right. Right. Is that what we're doing, Joseph? You know, mm-hmm. you know, because now he's with, she's not with her family because we know that Elizabeth and them are her family, right? Mm-hmm. He's with his family. Right. So they already know Joseph. He's an older man. They know that he's not, they know he's not married because they weren't invited to the wedding. Okay. Excellent point. Did I tell you guys were brilliant? I think I did. You guys are brilliant. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's, it, the Bible is silent upon that, but we can, you know, we can think about that. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, when we're talking about it, to think about this is again, a, a place of peace because many of us have been in experiences where we have been ostracized because of something that someone thought that we did or did not do. Come on, mm-hmm. somebody right here. Our reputation <laughs> has preceded us and we were uh, cast aside. Mm-hmm. But, you know, but the God of our peace gives us peace even when people reject us or even when we are expecting help and help doesn't come, come along. We're expecting people to be there for us when we're in our time of need and they're not, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know? You, you, Something you, else. You, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. No, okay. Go ahead. Come on, Jess. <laughs> uh, uh, something else I was just thinking in the uh, the aspect of peace is I'm pretty sure during that moment it was a chaotic time. Yes. Because there were so many people in this one place to, you know, get counted and pay their tax. And then here you have this child that is going to eventually bring about peace. And they didn't know that. So like right. they didn't know that part right. about it. Well, can I just go back it up to, this was the first ever. They never right. had anything like this. Yeah. They never yeah. had anything. So again, that's, you know, you know, we get anxious when we're encountering something for the first time. This, mm-hmm. this never happened in the Roman world, right? Right. Yeah. So there's a lot of, you know, a lot of, Thanks. A lot of, a lot of chaos. Mm-hmm. But now we can look at the other part of it. Like you said, here, here comes this, here comes our peace giver. And mm-hmm. so again, God is reminding us that in the midst of chaos, even when you don't know what's going to happen next, he can give you peace. You know what I mean? That is, that's a really awesome, really awesome. I th- I told you. all. Okay. Let's look at verse eight. Um, what do you think is the importance of the shepherds? I know, right? It says, and there were shepherds living out in the field nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. What do you think is the importance of of, of the shepherds? Um, One thing I thought about when I was looking at that is that, Mm -hmm. like, in in that day, they thought 
uh, of the shepherds as uh, outcast or uh-huh. not good as, you know, good as everybody else because they yeah. uh, tend sheep and all that. They were, mm-hmm. you know, as you would call low class. They weren't, oh, you know, society. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, right. Moses was a shepherd, right? It's, mm-hmm. You know, you talk about it. Uh, David, you know, understood shepherding. Mm-hmm. Um, as you said, they were considered an outcast. And when I was uh, reading this, because, uh, you know, now, you know, we're going to come around the time where, you know, there are people like, you know, Christ wasn't born on December 25th. And he, there's absolutely right about that. Okay. And, <laughs> right. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but that doesn't mean that he wasn't born, right? Uh, right. They didn't get records like that, you know, at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but the understanding is that the shepherds were doing what they were supposed to do, right? That uh, at this point in time, it was past the harvest time, and so um, sheep were come were were sent in to um, uh, clean up the fields, right? You know, they didn't have industrial, you know, it's after the harvest, right? So now you have all this, you know, what they call it in uh, California, brush brush right in the forest so that you know there's no forest fire right so the the shepherds were sent in with, with you know to clean up right okay. because they had to live outside at night you're right they were stinky they were dirty they were notoriously um unreliable <laughs> they were often nomadic right and uh, they, they they didn't have anything um that generally people thought oh uh uh-uh, you know to find them appealing mm-hmm. And it's interesting that in this whole story, in this, in this whole uh, you know, biblical narrative that uh, we're introduced to a group of people who are considered less than. And that's who he really, I mean, in his walk, when he's older, Jesus, that's who he goes to. That's who that's he's right. normally with. That's who he's always around. He's always around so, the lowly. Yep, yep. It started at his birth. Mm-hmm. It started at his birth. It started as mm-hmm. at his birth. And 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 they were they were chosen to be important. Mm-hmm. Again, this is this 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 like you said, it's an amazing thing. Okay. You know, here symbolically, God is saying, you know what? Even though people may have written you off and said that you were less than. <laughs> and that you're not desirable and that you know you're di- dirty filthy and all those things and all those things may be true but god still speaks come on somebody it's right the there the last yeah. shall be the first yeah. should be last they absolutely. saw him before the wise men absolutely that's exactly right exactly right exactly right and so let's look at verses 9 to 11 what do these verses say to you an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they, as in King James said, they were sore, afraid or terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people today in the town of David. A savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. What are, the, what are those verses saying to you? Yes, they pretty much just said it, that, you mm-hmm. know. The lowly shepherds got the, the, the biggest news of the, the ever. Yes. The good news of the Messiah being born. Right. But to and the it's, shepherds. To the shepherds. The shepherds. Uh, and it's, uh, I love, the, love the, the fact that, you know, they're out. They've already been outside. They, so look, at, if, you, if you marry verses 8 and 9 to 11, listen, the shepherds have been outside. They, they know. They, they've seen it. Yeah. They've been outside. This wasn't their first a harvest, <laughs> right? They, you know, the, the implications, they were shepherds. They were experienced. They know what to expect and that I expect, I expect um, foxes to try to come along and get my, you know, I expect <laughs> wild animals, right? Right. I expect mm-hmm. my sheep to be over here grazing and maybe some of them may wander off. I expect that. But, but uh, I, I, I expect that, you know, I, I expect some rain. Right. I, I expect, you know, but do I expect all of a sudden this angels. thing in the right angels? Do I expect that? What? I, I you know, the, and and the angel, and the glory of the Lord. Uh, and they, they were scared. Right. So because, you know, we can look at it now and, you know, the, the 21st century and, you know, even when we see shooting stars, we're still in wonder. 
we're still in awe. But imagine if you had never seen anything like that before in your life, right? What is really happening out here, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, you know, mm-hmm. you know, and, and that this 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 being now was speaking to you, right? You know, whatever it looked like, I don't because I don't say what the angel looked like, right? But okay. can you just imagine all of a sudden? I'm expecting sheep, I'm expecting snakes, I'm expecting rats, I'm expecting a fox, I ain't expecting you. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right. And, and the angel said to him, listen, don't, don't you worry. Uh, 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 God has selected you for a special message, right? That will cause great joy for all the people. And he, you know, as he said, he tells, he, he didn't say today is born the king. Mm-hmm. You say that, right? You say today is born um, uh, a new emperor, a new Caesar. He said today the, a, a savior has been born for you. Your savior has been born. The Messiah, he is the Lord. How an amazing uh, statement to people who had not been welcomed into the church realm. Mm-hmm. And who's more likely to share it with other people like themselves? It's them. Whereas, you know, when the wise men found out, they were like, I'm not going back to her. her. I'm not telling him what I saw. I'm not telling him that. But with the shepherds, they're like, wait a minute, what just happened? I have to go tell somebody. That's right. right. I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it like I know it. Hi, Brother Joshua. Um, Right. And, and, you know, it, it's beautiful that, you know, this verse reminds us of the birth, verse in Isaiah, for unto us a child is born, unto us a, a son is given, and a government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. He is the mighty God, the Prince of Peace. Amazing, because God, you know, the angel said to them, I'm giving, I'm, don't worry. I'm speaking on behalf. They understood that this was an angelic, a heavenly being. Hey, Brother Joshua, you look great. Um, God bless they, they, you. God bless you. That, that, that this reminds us, j- just like everything else prior to, that Christ was given to us. Like he could have came as a new king. He could have said, oh, there's a new royal baby born, right? But, you know, he came to us as we are right? Just like us. So they could be like us. And he spoke to people, just like you said, that, you know, we would, we would um, want to talk to. And these shepherds, you know, at, all at once, they're no longer terrified, but they have great joy because they received this amazing message while they were just doing what they were called to do. The shepherds weren't out there trying to um, preach. <laughs> They weren't trying to bring the good news. They were just trying to keep their sheep from wandering, while wandering off, right? They were just trying to do their and, and God speaks to them. Um, for today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. That's an amazing line. Come on, right? A savior. So remember now, these people who have been under Roman rule for centuries. Oh, you didn't bring oh. out the ancient stuff. That they had been under Roman rule for for centuries. They had been in war for centuries. They had, you know what I'm saying? And now um, Octavian has now made himself Caesar Augustus, the greatest um, emperor of all, first emperor. Uh, um, I'm, um, I'm divine. Uh, Caesar, this Caesar Augustus brought a period of peace or absence of war, but he could not bring salvation. Right. Right. Good right. leaders do great things, but he could not bring salvation. And, and, and the angel says, but to you today, a, a savior has been born to you. Could I make one small suggestion before I have to leave? Sure. Uh, to bless somebody in this mundane domain called life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, here in this chapter, I got a chance to read it. In the time, it was very parallel to what we're living in now. Yes. It was a strategic wheel 
of just the same crappy stuff happening over and over and over. And yet now you're saying, all right, let me put my console, my, my comfortability, my, my trust in the government. And the government fails you, Jesus. And then <laughs> just so peculiar in the same chapter that he's sending peace. I'm just going to be quiet. That, that's <laughs> no, all I got to But it's say. the truth, right? Because that was the point that, 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 so the angel said to these shepherds, a savior has been born to you. Didn't say he was born to Mary and Joseph. Come on, read it. Right, right. Right, the Savior. And he is the Messiah. He is Mm -hmm. the anointed one. The one that, you know, all the Jews had been praying for to deliver. Now, you know, there, you know, we'll talk about it later on about what they thought they were but it, like you're right we that's why we don't the bible tells us don't put your trust in horses and men because mm-hmm. they're gonna fail you right mm-hmm. but we put our trust in the name of the lord because in his name there is power he, and he is the messiah he's the lord all right i get excited i'm sorry I, you know y'all pray for me right but <laughs> he says okay so what what um why, why do you think the sign in verse 12 is important? This was just a stupid thing that I had in my mind. So, you know, y'all just. Stupid. Well, one thing, it was very specific. Yeah. <laughs> it was very specific. It's like, okay, I'm giving you directions to go to this place. Yeah. This is the specific thing that you're looking for. There's nothing else that you need to look for. There's nothing else you need to go to go directly here and look for this particular thing and this is where you will find it he made it so simple yes absolutely prophecy is clear Mm -hmm. (laughs) all right right the directions are clear i I, when i was thinking about this denise i was thinking um there's a lot of people that are born on june 12th right i don't doubt that there wasn't not a lot of babies that were born that day Right. But and there's probably a lot of babies that in Bethlehem. Right. There was probably a lot of babies that was wrapped up in cloth. But Denise said they probably won out there in the pig troughs. Right. (laughs) Right. Because that was very specific. There was probably a lot of now. I don't know this to be true, but I'm thinking, right. More than likely. More than likely. Right. You know, you know. (laughs) <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, like you said specifically, and this will be something. Just you gonna see babies, you gonna see them mm-hmm. wrapped up. <laughs> but when you see the one in the trough, that's right. the one you know right. who he is. <laughs> it's funny. I was talking. I was talking to Jason about. Um, I forgot how we ended up talking about it. We were talking about the Newport Hospital, and I was talking mm-hmm. about how back in the day you could actually go in and you could see all of the babies yeah. that had been born around that time because the nursery was you know there was oh, the so glass you could still mm-hmm. see everybody which I thought was kind of weird it was just odd to me it's like mm-hmm. why are we just displaying everybody's babies mm-hmm. <laughs> but right. I mean and they pretty much all look alike either they have on a pink little bonnet or they have on a blue bonnet <laughs> it, unless you specifically know that child's name that you're going to see so you could see That's it on right. the card you're not going to know whose baby is who and they all wrapped Unless up the same little, way like a little right. taco yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Little burrito baby. A little burrito baby. Right. <laughs> a burrito wrap. That's yeah. exactly right. So it's amazing, right? So it's really very specific. Wonderful. Wonderful. Joshua literally jumped on to give us that information and jumped <laughs> off. I love the Lord. Amen. Okay. So as we look at verses uh, 13 and 14, what do verses 13 and 14 uh, mean to you? Hi, Sister Aaliyah. Let's see where we're going to do here. That uh, uh, praise team all, came out. All, all the angels from heaven came down singing and praising the Lord. All of them. <laughs> all of them. It was almost like Woo. it was almost like that extra confirmation for uh-huh. whatever reason that I guess God think thought that or decided that they needed. So like this My is God. not just some ordinary this is not an average child like right. what i'm saying is more than what you think it is yes yes and, and, it, yeah, and, and it also says that you know they said that uh 
what, what is it? Uh, uh, and peace on earth. Yes. Which meant he came. He's your peace. Come yeah. on. Peace is now on earth. Or yes. Oh, yes. yes. And as the, Jessica, as you both said, now, this now imagine the scene before it, it's one angel speaking. Mm -hmm. Can you just imagine? They were like, okay, finish it, finish it. You know, finish, say it. I'm ready to go. And once the proclamation was made, suddenly a great company. Now, now, so if you were uh, afraid of one, I mean, you're going to be terrified of right. a company, right. a legion. Yeah. But they broke out in praise because now the earth had peace. Yeah, and I like it on my, my Bible, the, the um, what is it, life application? Yeah. It says that it was the armies of heaven. Woo! Mm. Jehovah Sabaoth, yes! <laughs> the Lord of heaven's armies, yes! Yeah. Right, so I think about it. Again, armies is a military uh, statement, legion mm. or a company, right? Now this, this, this army of angels is rejoicing, not for themselves, but mm -hmm. for humanity, yeah. because peace had come to humanity. And like you said, it's like at that time, that, was, that had become a time of peace in yes. the empire, but, yes. it was, but obviously it wasn't enough. It right? wasn't enough. And it Be wasn't even enough for the angels Woo. to get excited about. Yeah. Woo! Because Come on, Jessica. here it is, is that 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 peace that you claim that you have is here. Woo! Come but on, yet Jessica. God still had to send son, so it's not enough. It's so not when, enough. The peace, when the real peace arrives, that's when the praise breaks out. That, Come, on, on, Jessica. Say it again. Come on, Jessica. When the real peace, when the real peace arrives, that's Woo! that's when the praise breaks out. Yes, sir. Come on, girl. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They rejoice. <laughs> Because we were still at war with God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus is our peace. He mm -hmm. broke down the wall of, that separated us between us and God. We won't have peace <laughs> until his favor rests upon us. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. And on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Or as they say, what is it saying to your, your version, Denise? Verse 14. Uh, glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those whom God is pleased. Come with on. whom God is pleased. Yeah. Jessica, you said it. It's not mm -hmm. enough. It's not enough to have temporal peace. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to have, here come Joshua again. He said it got good. I got to come back on. I got to come back on. <laughs> it's not enough to have governmental peace. It's not enough to have financial peace. It's right. not enough to have relational right. peace. It's not enough mm -hmm. to have. Uh, uh, physical peace, it, you know, right. like with your hand. You, 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 it's not. Uh, woo, <laughs> it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough not to have wars anymore. Right. It's not enough. But we have, we get to join that praise team when we accept Jesus Christ into our hearts and our lives because He, <laughs> Aliyah said, come on now, because He, He gives us peace. He is our Prince of Peace. He's our peace giver. He keeps us in perfect peace because when we align ourselves with God through Jesus Christ, now God's favor rests upon us. That's a beautiful statement. Yeah, because that peace that God's favor rests upon us is attainable versus yes. to accessible. You see, the accessible peace is what jacks us up. Because that mm -hmm. is the peace of the moment. Right. But the attainable right. peace is lifelong peace. Oh, come on, y'all. Listen here. No, you don't have to be quiet. It's the truth. It's the truth. When we start to unpack it, that's the truth about it. That's what you, we should be like that angel, the heavenly host. Just like, you know, when we hear that word, well, listen, listen, when the preaching comes and you hear that word, that's when the, that's right. That's when the praise team breaks out. Right? <laughs> that's, that's when the hallelujahs go up. <laughs> All right. So as we look at the last, the last uh, five verses, uh, it says when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherd said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing. Ooh. 
sorry. Sí. That, whew, that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen them, they spread the word concerning um, what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherd said to them. But Mary treasured these things and pondered them in her heart. Uh, the shepherds returned glorifying, praising God for all the things that they heard and seen, uh, which were just would, which were just as they had been told. What do you, what do you think of, is the meaning of these verses, the last uh, five verses in our study tonight? <laughs> I was thinking in my head that the shepherds understood the assignment. Oh, come on! What? 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 They understood Woo. the assignment. They knew what they were supposed yeah. to Like, they knew they were... It was almost like they were ready to go because it said they hurried off. So it's not like they, you know, went back... Hesitated. And, you know, they checked, they talked about it, thought about how they were going to do it. They automatically went off and did what they were assigned to do and that was to go spread the word go let people know <laughs> they left that sheep you know what i'm saying they gathered that sheep right they left mm -hmm. that sheep they, they, they left them off. and they say they went back to them so the sheep didn't go nowhere they, they even knew they had assignments Ooh, they the like, sheep oh, back. Back. <laughs> we just go hang out yeah they'll be I'm back away. i'm away do sheep them. stuff do sheep <laughs> stuff <laughs> do sheep stuff juice ju do sheep stuff they went and they said, let us go see this thing. This, this thing. Because they understood it, it was an amazing message. Mm -hmm. Were you talking about God is saying, God gave something to me. You know, that was the, cause that was the message. You know, you know, a savior was born to you. God gave mm -hmm. something to me. Me, who am I? I'm nobody, I'm nothing. So I, we got to go see this. It, I, what? We got to go see this, right? Because you know it had to be a spectacular thing and how could they understand it? But they mm -hmm. said, let's go see it. And uh, they, and it was exactly as it was told. That's that's how you know you can count on exactly. God. Come on, somebody right here. <laughs> he will tell Ooh, you exactly. Can I add something? Oh, yes, you can. You see, um, you know that funny TikTok video where it's like, I understood the assignment, you know? Yeah, like, that's all. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. You know, I, I, I struggle because I'm like, okay, we understand this assignment, but really, why did they do it? You know what I mean? <laughs> and right. when you check it out, think about Israel. They're sitting on so many promises, right? Mm -hmm. right. And finally, the first point in the Bible now where the promise is now living. You see that? It's promise right. It's not just like, you know, like, all right, God said this or God said right. that. No, it's a tangible, real, living thing. God wrapped up in human form. God wrapped up, <laughs> like, you know, like, hello, here's the promise of God. It's here. It's here. You know, so kudos to them for getting it right and not, you know, letting us repeat through the Old Testament all over again, you know, so... I think that's the point that exactly that that message was not delivered to the people in the building. Mm -hmm. That's right. It was the people out mm -hmm. the field. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> there it is. It was delivered to the people who would go and do, who would hurry. Mm -hmm. Minister Jessica, understand the assignment and do what they were told to do. That exactly is the, how they were told. Come on, Denise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come on, Minister Denise. Exactly. Exactly. That's what gives you peace. When you do what you're told, exactly how you're told. Doesn't matter who doesn't believe you. Doesn't matter how unbelievable the, the call may be. But if God has told you to do it, when you run after that purpose that he places in you, you have peace. Even if people think, oh, who are you? <laughs> doesn't matter who they think it's a, it's a matter what god says about you right <laughs> and there it is that's all i got y'all that's all i got for tonight that's all i got i don't know if anybody else got anything else we are going to be so blessed to have a message on 
Sunday. I know God is speaking to Minister Denise right now. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I see it. Uh, she's going to bring the message for uh, this Sunday. We're oh, so yeah. excited. We're so excited yes. about it's what so God awesome. is doing. I heard you preach. Hey, Jaquan, how you doing? Uh, uh, we're excited about what God is doing. Um, God has, in his uh, amazing way, has brought this thing to life. Mm -hmm. And our, our job, our purpose as PTR is to preach, teach, and reach. Um, amen. Amen. Good to see you, brother. Um, and, you know, we're just going to continue to allow uh, people to uh, use their God-given gifts uh, to his glory and honor. We're so excited uh, for uh, Monica Ramsey to be jo joining our ministry. Um, we're excited about what God, where God is going to lead her in ministry. Um, this is just a great time. It's just very exciting. Very exciting. It is wonderful. Wonderful. And so I want to thank you. So, you know, we'll do it again next week, God willing. Uh, and, and the crick don't rise. You know what I'm saying? Next week's topic will be joy because we're going to do these Advent. Joy. Yeah. So, joy. Um, yeah. So we're very, very yeah. excited. Great joy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Minister Jessica, will you close us out in prayer, please? Sure. Father God, we thank you for this thank you, God. time of yeah learning oh god we thank you for yes. this worship oh god we yes. thank you oh god for your peace oh god yes. your peace that passes all understanding oh yes. god peace that sits with us in the midst of chaos and confusion yes. oh god, yes. we pray in this moment oh god that you would allow us oh god to be able to hear you oh god and discern your voice in the midst of our chaos oh god yes so that we may be able to hurry off oh god Ooh. to do what it is that you have called us to do oh god the you have That's called us to do it oh god we pray oh Ooh. god that you be specific oh god so that we mm. can know and understand fully what it is that you would have us to do we thank yes. you for all of those who are joining pt our ministries oh god thank, thank you god you for all of those who are hearing your word, oh God. Thank you, God. Being able to see your light, oh God. Receive yes. your peace, oh God. Receive your blessings, oh God. We just yes. thank you and we praise you. We ask you to be with a minister, Denise, as she prepares yes. to bring the word, oh God. And we just, Amen. again, thank oh God, you, we just thank you and we just praise you. We ask that you be with all of the ministers of PTR. Yes. God, yes. Thank, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Pastor, Pastor thank Lorio. You, Lord. We ask thank you to fill her, oh God, and refresh her from you from, from preaching on Sunday, oh God, Amen. for giving this Bible study on this evening, oh God. And we Amen. will be ever so careful to give your name, praise the glory and the honor. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. 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 Thank yes. you all for a uh, sad Christmas. Um, I know. I think about it every year. I was singing one of them the other day. <laughs> that's why i love you guys <laughs> so we're going to need to get get our christmas get your christmas messages ready just so y'all know just so everybody everybody we're just going to do oh. minute messages we're going we're going to be oh i got to i'm gonna try to think of something better than the great <laughs> <laughs> no that was good that was a good message that was brother. good though that was a great message brother it was, that was that's what are you message. talking, man? What are you man, talking? What you talking? That's it. That's how it's supposed to be. We're excited. This is how it. Listen, we're reaching people because that's what God has called us to do, um, mm -hmm. in a unique and different way. And that's you know, we got to hurry off and do what He told us to do. Right. Right. Amen. Uh, preach, yeah. teach, and reach. Yes. That's man. it. That's it. Yeah. I love you. Thank you all who joined us on our Facebook and those who will watch later on. We're so grateful. I'm gonna also put this on our 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 um, website and our YouTube page. And so, you know, we're just going to do it. Yes. I love you guys. All right. Love you. All right. Love Bye -bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.